All right, so I'm back with another um, update on this swap on this Mazda 6, 2.3 to 2.5. One thing I wanted to mention, it's in the forums, if you check the Mazda 3 forum. Good information on this, but the cam timing cog on the intake cam that the cam sensor reads off of, on this engine and on the Ford engine are the same. I've got the timing tool in here, but they're the same... Uh, same wheel, index the same, they use the same three pin cam sensor. But if you have an 05 and older Mazda 6 or Mazda 3, it's a different wheel. This is a five or six pin or six leg wheel. And the older ones, 05 and older, have a five leg wheel on them. And they also use a two pin cam sensor. So I forgot to mention that when I did mine, uh, Mazda 3, as I mentioned before, was an 04. So what I did, a lot of guys will just swap the camshafts. If you have an 05 and older, they'll swap the camshafts from one engine to the other. I thought it was kind of, to me, not the smartest thing. I had an old engine with a blown up. The cam load profile, from what I've read, is different between the Fusion and the Mazda engine. So what I did, instead of swapping the cams complete with the right wheel on it, I pulled the cam off, used a three-jaw puller, carefully pulled off this. Um, here, I indexed it first. I checked with a I kind of used a, I, I, what I used was a, I stuck a, you know, 120 volt outlet cover in here, kind of was curved and rounded when it was on top dead center and stuck it over here to where it went underneath the one leg that was on the side on the Mazda 3 engine, kind of scribed it with a marker. So when I went back and I basically used a, I think it was a 30 millimeter socket or something like that, or 32 millimeter 12 point socket, I carefully tapped the timing wheel on the camshaft after I pulled the Ford one off on, you know, carefully I'd marked it very carefully, put it on and checked my scribe thing. And you can actually take a, a brass punch or something and, and just once it's on and kind of easily tap it and you can actually turn it when this is locked in if you need to make a fine tune adjustment. So that's just something I want to tell you on, um, for you guys that are watching this video, you have an 05 or older Mazda 6 or Mazda 3 and you're thinking, hey, I'm going to do this swap. Well, you do have to swap either the intake cams or swap the timing cog from your Mazda engine to your you know, Ford engine. I, I think even the Mazda newer Mazda engine is the same way as the newer Mazda 2.5s will have the same um, cog as the Ford Fusion engine or the newer Mazda since this one does. So like I said, I didn't have to do it on this one, but as I was getting tearing things apart, it just kind of hit me, hey, I didn't say something about that. I didn't say something. So... I'll say that. And then the other thing I want to say is quickly is the crank sensor on the Ford is a three pin crank sensor. The sensor on the, or excuse me, that's a three pin sensor. The one on the Ford is actually a two pin sensor. So again, that's something's got to be changed. The Mazda has a three pin connector, at least on this Mazda 6. I can't remember what my Mazda 3 was like, but this 07 Mazda 6. As you can see, it has a three-pin connector. I think you can see it. But, um, and this is a two-pin connector. So they're different sensors, so these will have to be swapped over, which when I got the time and cover off anyways, I'm just going to swap it. So I just want to give you that update on that, and it'll keep tearing things apart. You know, found some nice metal. You can see the metal pieces that came out of the pickup tube on this thing all over the floor where it spun a rod bearing. Looks like number three, I'm thinking. I couldn't see it behind the balance shafts, but the other three look good. And number three is what spun on my Mazda 3 also. It seems to be common. But anyway, just wanted to give you that update, and I'll post some more if I think about it.